Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let x and y be real numbers where x is less than y. Then there exists a rational number q such that x is less than q is less than y. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use two preliminary results. Here's the first one. Given any positive real number r, there exists a positive integer n such that 1 over n is less than r. And here's the second preliminary result. Given any real number r, there exists an integer n such that n minus 1 is less than or equal to r is less than n. Okay, now let's get into proving the theorem. To start out, let's give ourselves two real numbers, x and y, where x is less than y. From here, our goal is to show that there is a rational number between x and y, but not equal to x or y. And start out, since x is less than y, this tells us that y minus x is greater than zero. But then we can apply lemma one to the real number y minus x. Because if we take r to be y minus x, well, yeah, y minus x is a positive real number, so there is a positive integer I'll call n such that 1 over n is less than y minus x. And then we can multiply the positive number n on both sides, and we get that 1 is less than ny minus nx. And then adding nx on both sides, we get nx plus 1 is less than ny. And next, we're going to apply lemma 2 to nx. If we do that, well, we're going to take r to be nx. Well, then there is some integer I'll call m, such that m minus 1 is less than or equal to nx, which is less than m. And then we see that nx is less than n. And if we take this portion of the inequality and add 1 on both sides, we get that m is less than or equal to nx plus 1. And we know that nx plus 1 is less than ny. This portion of the inequality tells us that nx is less than m. And this portion of the inequality tells us that m is less than ny. And now if we take this inequality and divide n on all three sides, which we can do that because n is a positive number, we get that x is less than m over n, which is less than y. And m over n is a rational number. So we have found a rational number that satisfies this condition. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.